Deloitte is a multinational beast. If you work in corporate long enough, you will eventually either work at Deloitte or run into someone who has worked there. They have over 330,000 employees worldwide, from audit to legal, tax, and consulting. They have their fingers in just about every corporate pie you can think of. They are a true multinational, with offices in 150 different countries. So here they are talking about connecting for a resilient world and achieving world impact, one word, with a portfolio of initiatives focused on making a tangible blah blah blah. Let's see what are they actually like to work for. What is it like to live the green dot life, as employees call it. Here's what Deloitte employees had to say on Glassdoor.com. Girls run away, unsafe, advises a consultant in DC. Pros. Office decor is bright and colorful. Branding. Dress code. Cons. Rapist partners, whoa. Girls at this company are not safe around the male partners and HR does everything to enable and protect the men exclusively. Unethical business practices. Sexist environment heavy on both sexual harassment and assault. Advice to management. Teach your partners to keep their dicks to themselves. Hire a third-party auditor to monitor the kickbacks being provided to government clients and listen to your employees when they tell you their partners are engaging in illegal activity before you find out the wrong way and ask the partners to resign. Uh, this person is recommending that Deloitte gets audited, huh? Who watches the watchman? Sweatshop, says a senior program manager in Nashville. Pros. Travel perks for senior manager level and above. Everyone else flies economy. Can work remote, but with major caveats. Only for senior people and only if the partner or MD you report to is okay with that. Keep in mind, this review was written before COVID, so we, we could use an update on this. Cons. You will not have any life outside of work. Junior people are simply told to work, while senior people are expected to be available whenever. Partners and MDs create fiefdoms. Nobody really cares about corporate policies such as diversity, inclusion, and code of conduct. Many conflicts of interest are allowed to persist because partners are okay with that. Politics are worse than in the White House. Okay, you have to navigate whims and agendas of everyone around. Nobody cares about what they are doing if it doesn't benefit them directly. It is impossible to move to another group. Suffering, work culture, and talent. Pros, great client base and some good people. Cons, favoritism and nepotism is the other name of networking and getting in the good books, which is considered a talent versus actually getting the work done with the skills you have. Hence, the quality of work continues to suffer, and in the last two years, a lot of talented and skilled professionals have quit. There is no career growth unless you are ready to surrender your soul or you are a white male. You will find an unskilled professional, 80%, piggybacking on professionals who are skilled, 20%. The culture is toxic and white male dominated. 100% work-life balance since the 20% will be doing everyone's job slash tasks and there are a lot of them in line to take credit for it. Massive cut to benefits and no incentive or recognition for the work. Don't get into this place, it is a big lie. Pros. None. Unless you like earning while sitting idle or working on stupid firm initiatives that help. None. Cons. There are no projects, no management, no structure. Even if you network with people, no one helps. Very insecure environment, completely inconsiderate leadership, very restrictive managers. They won't allow you to work on projects in other sub-offering, even if you are willing to, and you will be stuck waiting for projects in your offering, and one fine day, they will lay off they will lay you off randomly and without any prior notice, irrespective of whether you are on a project. Sounds like this person had a particularly bad experience. If the Formica tabletops were wood, Deloitte would be indistinguishable from a 1915 sweatshop. All right. Pros. They pay well. This fact becomes the principal justification for inexcusable mistreatment. Cons. Endless hours struggling to meet artificial deadlines, an open floor plan that effectively isolates employees from one another because everyone is in headphones, countless computer systems whose function one can never learn. All IT outsourced to India, 
endless training on wholly irrelevant topics, all encased within a shell of corporate rhetoric designed to artificially generate positive reviews on this and other job sites. This person writes pretty well. I don't like how they used artificial twice, and that would be my feedback. Advice to management. You need to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Regardless of what you say, your actual contempt for your employees festers and oozes out in your everyday behavior towards them. All right, guys, so what do you think? Have you worked for Deloitte, either stateside or abroad? Let us know in the comment section. And as always, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.